School Friday, we're continuing to highlight Mary G. Montgomery this morning, where students there are digging into the world of agriculture. Well, let's join Local 15's Kelly Foster live from the school right now. Hey, Kelly. Hey guys, well I've got the seven greenhouses behind me and I have one of the agriculture instructors. This is John Alliday and I'm super impressed with all the plants that you guys have here. But there's more to this program than just growing plants. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, this is a program that's really hands-on for the kids. We see close to 300 kids come through our program every year and uh, they really get a chance to put their hands in the soil and get experience uh, growing, raising the plants just uh, from seed and then we, we transfer them to uh, trays and then we sell them like that. But also some of the kids, you know, are interested in, in other things other than just raising plants and they get the experience of doing construction out here, working on our irrigation, working on the greenhouses. Um, there's always something that needs to be fixed. Wonderful. Well, we're going to go ahead and introduce the audience to the program, some of the main courses are agri-science, landscaping, and greenhouse production. Here's more in this report. Spring is in bloom inside these seven greenhouses on the campus of Mary G. Montgomery High School. This program was started in 1971. It's been a big part of this community, a big part of the school. For more than 40 years, the agri-science pathway has been a part of the MGM curriculum. The award-winning program is designed for students interested in learning the nitty-gritty about different soils. Learned how to make soil, make soil for the uh, plants. Um, I've done a lot of construction out here, putting, building things, fixing things that have gotten broken. Senior Dylan Calhoun and other classmates also learn how to grow and fertilize horticultural plants in greenhouse and nursery settings. They excelled so well at agricultural engineering, they took home a few awards. Last year we went to state and we won state in agricultural mechanics. Um, we went to nationals and we placed 11th. Several hundred MGM students in grades 9 through 12 can easily identify all landscape plants. They also design landscape plans and can properly install plants in the right outdoor environment. But they say watching and nurturing the growth of a plant is the best part of all. We grow all kinds of peppers and tomatoes. We also grow some flowering plants. We take them from uh, the, little, the little plants and uh, we grow them to where they're big enough to sell and then we sell them to the public. Teachers say the courses give students a hands-on approach, which is a key component in learning agri-science. It's such a large program that we have to have two teachers here actually and we hope to build on this and make it a bigger success than what it is. Of course, the program continues to grow here at MGM. I have some of the students here with me. Nick Tillman, tell us some of the favorite things that you like to plant and what your favorite part of class is. I just like that I get to get out of class and actually come out here and work. It gives you a chance to actually come out here and, I mean, for me, it just helps relieve stress and stuff. So, I mean, I like growing plants and it just helps get your mind off everything, really. Well, it's very beautiful, and, um, and I heard that the community will come out and buy some of the things that you guys produce. What are some of the favorite things that you've planted? Um, just the vegetables, and mostly everybody comes out here to buy vegetables, so oh. like tomatoes and stuff like that. Bell peppers, jalapenos, I've heard. Well, I know where I'm going to come and get my vegetables. Again, Mary G. Montgomery, this week's Cool School of the Week. Very talented students. Back to you guys. Good All stuff. Right. Thanks, Cal. We appreciate that. Yep. We'll have one more look at your morning traffic as well as a look at your Memorial Day weekend weather.